Hello Capricorn, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your June 2024 mini tarot reading. Before we begin, I want to let you know about a Spirit Fest event I'm so blessed to be able to go to. Uh, so I will be at Spirit Fest uh, Melbourne, I uh, almost said Illinois, Florida on August 3rd and 4th. It is just a super, super show uh, or event. There's lots of readers. There's stone people, there's healers, there's just, I mean, it's unbelievable all of the things that are available. So the address is 625 East Hibiscus Boulevard, Melbourne, Florida, and that'll be August 3rd and 4th. And I hope I see you there. I'm so excited to be able to continue my, I want to call it adventures uh, in Florida with Spirit Fest because it's been a wonderful ride and I've met so many new folks, um, new clients, friends, vendors I've made friends with from all over the place. So again, I hope you'll stop by and see us. And also, if you like uh, what you see here today, uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, also, this is a, a, you know, a general reading, but if you'd like one just about you, uh, you can go to my website. I've included all the information about everything that we said here. And if you know, follow us on Facebook so you know what's going on. Now, with that said, Let's see what's coming up for you, Capricorn, for July. And then at the end, we will pull the love and money cards. That's been, um, I get lots of um, people saying they want me to continue. So I will, as long as you want to see it, we will. So let's see here, what is coming for Capricorn for July? My goodness. Here we go, let's see here. Oh my goodness. It says you're going to have a lot of strength. I'm not sure why at this point, but it looks like you're going to have strength to get through some little bumps along the road or big bumps, whether they be big or little, your strength will be high. And also keep your spirit up then, because it, I feel like you're having just, you know, divine intervention somehow to help you along with whatever we're talking about here. Um, and it says worrying about everything that's going on just brings us more, boom, slaps us right in the face with more. So when we get the lesson, it stops happening. Um, so you might wanna, if you can focus on that or pray about that, ask for guidance for that. It says that I also feel like there's an improvement in your finances. And also it says it's interesting in relationship. It says some, and this isn't for everyone. It says if you're having issues in your marriage, your commitment, uh, whatever it is, it seems like now is a good time to sit down, talk about what's going on, uh, you know, uh, without emotions, if you can, uh, and make a contract or, some, you know, make an agreement because uh, it looks like the timing for that would be really good that you're going to be able to um, count on each other if you haven't in the past. And is that for everybody? Absolutely not. But those of you that are having some difficulty, now would be a great time to do something like that. I also feel like it's a time where um, something you've waited for, it's almost like a wish is granted or something you've been wanting. Um, and it's, you know, it's easy for us to say, I wish I want and do, but then we get in the way of the universe bringing it to us or the creator bringing it to us. And when we ask, remember, it does come in divine time. Um, and then, you know, we don't want to be whiners about it. <laughs> we just want to say, okay, universe, I open to receive. Let's use love for an example. That would be great. And then we put it away and not worry about it. If you had a disagreement with somebody, it's important that you know that they heard you. Um, and there shouldn't have to be, I'm the winner, you're the loser. Sometimes arguments, if you know that you're heard and it gives the other person time to think about, you know, things that were said or things that are going on. It brings a change. So try your best to let that be enough at this moment that they did hear you. I do feel that change is definitely coming though in the relationship area, especially for those of you that are single or have been single for a long time. Maybe that um, experience of being alone was healing or showing you something you needed to see. Because I feel like you're gonna be, that that I don't wanna say a problem because it's not really, we don't have to be with someone. But those of you that have been working on yourself or healing from a, a broken relationship or pain from the past, just feels like there's going to be opportunities now this month and next month to either reconnect a healing or meeting somebody new, new beginnings. I feel real confident about, confident about just because a relationship ended badly or not the way you thought it would in the past doesn't mean the next one won't. But if we don't kind of heal from what's happened we just kind of recreate the same thing and i feel some of you have been healing for a long time 
and are definitely open and ready to um, accept or move forward with that. It says choices, choices, choices I'm hearing. So you're going to be making some choices. Uh, the advice I feel I'm picking up here is if you make them about you, you won't choose wrong. Okay, and it's nice to be able to do stuff for others, but we also have to say, okay, how is this serving me? Um, and I use this example a lot. Okay, universe, do I choose red or do I choose blue? If there's no answer, not time to make the decision. I hope that helps or it's clear. Um, it says you just have so much um, help around you, angelic help, family help, spirit help. Um, reach out, don't, don't close up and uh, not share with whoever <laughs> is close to you what's going on. Because I do feel Wheel of Fortune is going to bring change for you. I also feel like the next three weeks, the first three weeks of July are going to be like uh, little hints are dropped or actually big messages are answered. And it says, don't give your power away again. You've got it back. If you call my power back and you've done that and you have your power back, hold on to it. You don't have to give it away. You don't have to every time do what someone else wants. And just as every time you don't always get what you want. So in the love area, it says to be able to um, make choices or um, adjustments that are, are good for both partners. And it says, oh gosh, I got the um, pregnancy card, which can mean abundance, which a lot of people think of money, myself included, but it can be joy, bliss, and ease. But I'm really feeling heavy about pregnancy here. So if that's something you're wanting, might be a good month <laughs> to get the news about that or get it started. And it says, try not to feel guilty about the past. You really don't need to. Um, and, you know, we've all made foolish mistakes, but I love the card last. It says that the, by the end of the month or even right now, um, the sun card's yours. That's joy, happiness, and joy every minute of it because, you know, sometimes joy doesn't show up all the time. But let's do that quick little three-card love and money pull and see what's coming up in that area for you here. And I did already shuffle them, so let's see. Let's do love first. Oh, I love the love. <laughs> so let's do a cut. One, two, three, Oop. and what is coming up for love? And you know, it's just, if you're single, you know, that's okay. If you're with somebody, that's okay too. But I have the Page of Swords. I don't know if you can see this, but they're brand new cards. Um, I have the um, Seven of Pentacles, and then I have the Queen of Wands. And what I heard is I pulled these, quickly something's gonna come for you. And if you're really open, uh, for, to receive love, I feel it's going to come uh, in waves, maybe. Um, but I feel like some healing from the past is really going to make this um, uh, so much better for you. Because even when I'm looking at the Seven of Pentacles, I don't know again if you can see, but the Seven of Pentacles, there's one down here and all the rest are coming behind it. And I feel this time that is about love. And it says, you don't have to listen to anybody. You have to listen to yourself. And when you listen to yourself, Really trust what you're getting or tell your partner what you need. So let's see what's coming in the financial, the money department for Capricorn. Let's see here. What is coming for Capricorn in the finance department? Oh, losing my hair, it looks like. <laughs> oh, okay, I have the King of Wands. I have the Five of Swords. And then I have the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like there's going to be talk or you're going to be worried, not worried, concentrating on uh, finances for the future. And, you know, we are supposed to stay into today. You know, we're supposed to live for today, not yesterday or tomorrow. But it seems like some of you are going to be making some plans for your future for retirement time. Now is an excellent time for you to do that. Just be realistic about it. I think you're going to get help from um, either a financial planner or maybe where you work, someone could help you that, you know, uh, that takes care of your finance, your 401k and such like that. But it just looks like you're going to have excitement about plans for what you really want to do. You're going to be discussing it. Is this for everybody? Probably not. But those of you that do, really be serious about what you want. Do you want to work for 20 years? Do you want to work five more years? Do you want to work five more days? Whatever it is, make your plan and it'll fall into place if you're vigilant about keeping it up. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. Thank you, Capricorn, for dropping by, and I'll see you again next month. Don't forget about